Today's Republican bills are part of their extreme agenda to create a federal abortion ban. The first bill, H.R. 6918, would divert federal funding used to help feed and house poor families and give it to anti-abortion centers. The American College of Obstetricians and Gynecologists warned that these centers often mislead women with false medical information and in the process endanger public health. It's really endangering women's health because across the country, we are hearing stories of women who are dying or nearly dying because of their extreme restrictions on their health care. The other bill, H.R. 6914, should be named the Student Anti-Abortion Bill and not the Pregnant Students' Bill of Rights because the bill restricts pregnant students' rights when Republicans restrict access to information about the full range of health care available to pregnant students or the benefits that might help a pregnant woman and her child receive nutrition assistance or Medicaid benefits. Representative Stevens submitted an amendment to H.R. 6914 that would provide pregnant students information about miscarriages, a devastating loss that affects one million women in the U.S. each year. Shockingly, not a single Republican voted for this amendment to give students health information about miscarriages. In fact, Republicans opposed every Democratic amendment intended to make this bill more scientific and objective. Mujeres, don't let anyone fool you. Extreme Republicans want to keep us in the dark. But we need to keep Congress out of decisions that women deserve to make for themselves in doctor's offices, on campuses, and everywhere else women have health care needs.